feeling cold is physically painful. It hurts your fingers, it hurts your feet, it hurts your face. It's also potentially very life-threatening. My focus really is anything cold. So if there is ice or snow or a cold breeze, I want to go there. But I've focused mostly on the polar regions, both in the Arctic and Antarctic. Only 48 people have completed the unsupported, unaided expedition in the North Pole, compared to Mount Everest, where 6,000 people have summited. It's the most difficult expedition on the planet to a place that few people understand. A lot of what we see on an expedition to the Arctic Ocean is nothing. It's like being on the inside of a ping pong ball, basically. You can't see any sort of differentiation from the sky to the horizon to the snow surface. It's also incredible to look out on a clear day and see the sheets of ice that are rafted together like blocks as big as houses, pressured in these amazing, incredible shapes. You can't help but just stop and be amazed. This is my third expedition to the North Pole. The Arctic Ocean is changing very quickly compared to a lot of other places. Scientists estimate that the Arctic Ocean will be ice-free in less than 50 years in the summertime. Unfortunately, we find ourselves not doing these adventures because they're there anymore, but because they might not be there in the future. Our North Pole trip realistically may be the last of its kind in history, and so it was very important for me to do this adventure so that people have an idea of what this place is like right now so that we can look back and say, this is what we once had.